Have you ever considered that your skin can serve as a crucial indicator of your overall health? Diabetes, a widespread health concern affecting millions, often goes unnoticed as its warning signs can be subtle, ranging from dark patches to blisters. What if we share with you that your skin could play a pivotal role as the primary line of defense in identifying this chronic illness? In the upcoming video, we'll delve into the subtle warning signs of diabetes that may manifest on your skin and discuss proactive measures you can take. It's essential to pay close attention to your skin. It might be conveying important information about your health. Beginning our exploration of diabetes-related skin conditions, we turn our attention to diabetic dermopathy, colloquially known as diabetic shin spots. These distinctive skin manifestations manifest as diminutive, lackluster red or brown scaly patches predominantly appearing on the legs and impacting nearly half of individuals with diabetes. Persisting of a span of 18 to 24 months, these patches gradually recede, leaving behind depressions in the skin and heightened pigmentations. DD exhibits a higher prevalence among men and seniors, often intertwining with complications associated with diabetes such as nerve damage, kidney disease, and heart disease. The etiology of DD is postulated to stem from damaged blood vessels, accumulating hemosiderin or nerve damage, causing imperceptible minor injuries. Despite its general benign nature and spontaneous resolution, DD underscores the paramount significance of vigilant diabetes management as it could potentially signify more profound underlying health issues. As of now, a specific treatment for DD remains elusive, with available interventions like topical corticosteroids or laser therapy demonstrating modest efficacy. Moving forward, we encounter bulliosis diabeticorum or BD, an infrequent condition impacting approximately 1% of the U.S. population. Characterized by the abrupt onset of firm and painless blisters on the hands and feet, BD exhibits a variety in size and often occurs bilaterally. More commonly observed in men and individuals with type 1 diabetes, BD may also manifest in those above 50 or with a protracted diabetic history. The precise causative factors are not definitely established but may be associated with alterations in blood vessels, autoimmune processes, exposure to UV light, fluctuations in high blood sugar levels, or nerve damage. In the event that BD manifests, it becomes imperative to safeguard the affected skin and diligently monitor for potential sign of infection as complications may rise. Caution is advised against the indiscriminate use of topical antibiotics unless there is clear evidence of a secondary infection. Have you ever come across Acanthosis nigricans? This relatively common skin condition stands apart with its characteristic dark, thickened patches possessing a velvety or warty texture. Typically localized to the neck, underarms, elbows, and groin, Acanthosis nigricans is often linked to insulin resistance related to conditions such as obesity, polycystic ovarian syndrome, and thyroid dysfunction. Elevated insulin levels play a pivotal role, activating receptors on skin cells and fostering cell growth and thickening. Observing such skin changes prompts consideration of medications like metformin, known for enhancing insulin sensitivity and aiding in blood sugar control. This pharmaceutical intervention can prove beneficial in managing acanthosis nigricans. <laughs> Lastly, let's delve into eruptive xanthomas, a skin condition intricately tied to elevated triglyceride levels, particularly prevalent in individuals with diabetes. Recognizable by clusters of minuscule, pink, or yellow pimples, these bumps tend to manifest on areas prone to injury such as the buttocks, hands, and legs. While they may evoke tenderness or itchiness, they generally remain painless. Eruptive xanthomas find their origins in disruptions to the body's fat processing, a frequent occurrence in diabetes. Treatment necessitates addressing the underlying conditions contributing to elevated triglycerides with medications such as fibrates or omega-3 fatty acids holding promise in aiding triglyceride reduction. This comprehensive exploration underscores the intricate relationship between diabetes and a spectrum of dermatological manifestations, emphasizing the need for a holistic approach to healthcare. Diabetic foot syndrome, a condition with profound implications for foot health, is chiefly influenced by factors such as nerve damage damage, compromised blood flow, and impaired wound healing. Prevalent in approximately 1-4% to of individuals with diabetes, there is a slightly higher incidence among those with type 1 diabetes. The initial stages often manifest with symptoms like dry, itchy skin, and calluses attributed to diabetic neuropathy. 
As the condition progresses, it can escalate through chronic ulcers, especially in areas susceptible to trauma, exacerbating the healing process of secondary infections take hold. <laughs> Adding to the complexity is diabetic neuroosteoarthropathy, colloquially known as the Charcot's foot, a debilitating condition affecting the weight-bearing bones and joints of the foot, potentially leading to deformities and accompanying symptoms such as erythromyalgia, characterized by redness, warmth, and a burning sensation in the feet. Addressing and preventing diabetic foot syndrome necessitates a multifaceted approach. Effective diabetes management, meticulous control of blood sugar levels, and contentious foot care, encompassing cleanliness and the use of appropriate footwear emerge as a fundamental component. Regular healthcare checkups assume paramount importance, and timely attention to any alterations in foot conditions stands as a pivotal preventive measure. Shifting our focus to generalized granuloma annulare or GGA, a rash affecting 10% to 15% of individuals with diabetes. This condition commences with a small, skin-colored or reddish bumps that eventually coalesce into ring-shaped patterns of varying colors on the buttocks, arms, and legs. Although GGA tends to be non-painful, it can induce itching and often persists over an extended period. Treatment approaches, including antimalarials, retinoids, and steroids, have been explored but the effectiveness varies among individuals and there is no universal treatment plan. In cases of observed ring-shaped rashes, a recommended course of action involves a treatment plan that integrates effective blood sugar level management. Enter skin tags, scientifically referred to as acrocordons, small, benign growths of skin that commonly arises in areas where skin experiences friction such as the neck, underarms, or around the eyes. Impressively, up to 75% of individuals with diabetes may develop skin tags, showing a higher prevalence in overweight individuals and older adults, particularly women. Despite their generally innocuous nature, skin tags can be a source of bother or impact self-esteem. Notably, research suggests a potential correlation between the number of skin tags and the risk of developing diabetes or insulin resistance. While skin tags themselves pose no harm, individuals seeking the removal for cosmetic reasons have options such as excision or cryotherapy. This comprehensive exploration underscores the intricate interplay between diabetes and the spectrum of dermatological manifestations, reinforcing the importance of proactive healthcare strategies in managing these conditions. Diabetes can also manifest as scleroderma-like skin changes, with studies estimating that 10% to 50% of diabetic patients may experience this condition. More prevalent in individuals with type 1 diabetes and those with long-standing diseases, scleroderma-like skin changes are characterized by painless, hardened, and thickened skin. These changes typically occur symmetrically and bilaterally around and between the fingers, and in severe cases, may extend centrally from the hands to the arms or back. The thickening of the skin results from increased collagen, triggered by reactions associated with advanced glycosylation and products or the accumulation of sugar alcohols in the topmost layer of the skin. Moreover, these changes are linked to an elevated risk of developing neuropathy and retinopathy in individuals with type 1 diabetes. Treatment options for scleroderma-like skin changes are limited. Tight blood sugar control can contribute to the reduction of thickened skin, while lowering sugar levels may activate aldose reductase inhibitors, limiting the increase of sugar alcohol. Physical therapy is also recommended to maintain and improve joint mobility if restricted changes of motion are experienced. It's essential to remember that effective management of diabetes and its complication is crucial in preventing the worsening of these skin changes. Lifestyle adjustments, including healthy diet, regular exercise, and maintaining a healthy weight, play a pivotal role in mitigating the impact of diabetes on the skin. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.